No. Well, hello, everybody. This is Mac here, and along with Cheryl, Wendy, Judy, Dolphin, and Tim, we want to welcome you to our Sunrider Global Day and Winter Wellness Presentation. Um, we're here with you today to talk about Sunrider, but we want to wish everybody as well a happy Chinese New Year. Uh, 2023 is the year of the rabbit, of course, which symbolizes prosperity, longevity, and peace. And this is a great year for hope. So very happy to see all this. And I'm excited about where 20, 2023 is going to take us. We are going to be talking about Sunrider Foods in this presentation. So as usual, we'd like to remind everybody that none of the information provided in this presentation is intended to rep represent a diagnosis or cure of any illness or disease. For those of you that are watching this that may be brand new to Sunrider or are just considering why you should look at this as an opportunity, I want to quickly share with you that Sunrider has been around for 40 years. That's incredible in this industry, folks, where a lot of companies come and go typically overnight. Sunrider has been around 40 years, and you'll hear in a minute why we're going to be around for another 40 and another 40 after that. Sunrider operates in other 50 countries around the world, allowing any of us that want to an opportunity to build an international or global based business, which is one of the fun things that I love so much. Sunrider internally handles all of the research, development, and manufacturing. And I'm going to repeat that again because we're very unique in the industry with this. Most companies hand a recipe off to a third party and say, go make our products. That's not the case with Sunrider. We handle 100% of the research, development, and manufacturing of over 400 of the world's finest health, beauty, and wellness products. Everything from whole food nutritionals to cleansing beverages to weight management to sports and fitness to green household and all natural skincare and cosmetics. So really, this is a great time to consider Sunrider. If you're looking at this as an opportunity, it's the perfect time. We have our great low cost of entry, under $30 for a virtual starter pack. Sunrider has recently, this last year, invested in another 1 million square foot manufacturing facility in Dallas, Texas. Sunrider is continuing to produce under GMP standards, which are higher than food grade standards here in the United States, which comes back to the quality of our products. More and more products are becoming available each week as Dallas gets, gets more into the production swing of things. We have a seamless international sponsoring program, allowing each of us at any IBO rank to span sponsor internationally in countries, those 50 countries where Sunrider does business. Folks, unfortunately, the economy is not great right now, so many people are being laid off, downsized, or reduced in their hours. People are looking for opportunities. So my question for each of us is, how many people do we know that we can help with their health, wellness, and income? And folks, if you ask if this is the right time, the wellness and the beauty industry is a six trillion dollar industry worldwide. We are absolutely in the right place at the right time. And for those that are interested, there are three ways to join Sunrider. You can join as a retail customer. You can join as a preferred customer and get discounts and referral fees, or you can join as an IBO and get our full 15% discount on your products and have the ability to earn retail profit and bonus income as you share with others and build a Sunrider group. So enough of that. Let's talk about our topic for today, which is winter wellness. It's the season of the water element. And if I can, Judy, let me turn to you to talk to us a little bit about the five element theory and where winter plays into all of that. Thanks, Mac. Um, you're right. We're in the winter uh, time of year. As everyone knows, it's the coldest and darkest of all the seasons. And it corresponds to the water element in Chinese medicine, uh, traditional Chinese medicine, and is useful to us to realize um, when we talk about the Sunrider foods. The interesting thing about winter is that it's the time when all living creatures go within while the harvested crops are in storage. And so I wanted to give you that little visual to think about when you're wondering what activity should I be, what should I be focused on? It's more about calmness, coziness, warmness and uh, the important thing is you it's an inner perspective it's a thinking and planning so you're not idle it's not like the lazy days of summer it's more like cont con contemplative is that the word and uh, and thinking about what you're going to do when the glories of spring arrive so now as we look at the wheel we can see again that winter relates to the water element the kidneys 
are the solid organ involved, and then the bladder is the hollow organ. And that's how um, all the elements are, are put together, so to speak, the two organs. And obviously we can understand the role each one plays with the kidney uh, getting rid of the waste to the, um, to the bladder. So that being said, um, we really appreciate the water element and the need of it in the body and keeping it in balance. We don't wanna be dehydrated, nor do we want to have too much water and be swollen or have blockages. So this element affects the, um, the whole circulatory system and it allows us to eliminate all the unwanted toxins that we have. And before going on, I just wanna call, call your attention to something. On the wheel, you see the water element in blue, the colors of winter are blue and black. And, but notice this arrow, I think you can see it, pointing up to the fire element. And so what that tells us is that what we do this winter is going to directly affect um, what's in uh, summer, the fire element. And the most interesting aspect is the heart. Because remember, we're focusing on the water element, the circulatory system, and more importantly, the kidneys. And so it's interesting because I don't know if it's AMA or if it's just the uh, commercial element that, that makes February, I believe it is, the heart month. But the interesting thing is the health of the kidneys determine the health of your heart. And so it's directly connected. So what we do now is going to be so important for our heart health. Just a little bit, not a, a warning or somber thing, just a reality check there. So the tissue affected by this element are the bones. And the um, interesting, the organ, the outward organ, the tissue are the ears. And I have to say that I thought that was kind of funny. Um, initially to me, but then I remember when my husband had a heart attack, I believe it was in 2014 or whatever, it directly affected his hearing. There was a change. So uh, I've had, you know, proof positive of that. And sometimes they say, if you have a ringing in the ears, a high pitched ringing is definitely uh, identified with a kidney situation or an imbalance. Mm. And um, sometimes they say the very low pitched might have to do more with the liver but anyway, it's uh, our ear health, and I think we mostly think of hearing in that regard, is affected by the water element. So don't forget about that. And then um, it's also the seat of determination. So again, while we're being cozy, we can think, well, what are we determined to accomplish in the future when we're out and about? Um, also, the outward manifestation, um, interestingly, are, are the hair and teeth. So the condition of those also is indicative of what's going on inside. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, oh yes, and the flavor is salty. Now I'm not giving you license to go eat a bag of chips because <laughs> there's a big difference between um, the salt that most Americans have too much of and the sodium that we the body requires for balance. And, so next time you're reaching for the chips, think about some celery, some good, fresh, organic celery, because that is so loaded with the sodium. And we know that too much salt can actually raise the blood pressure and also cause water retention. Not that we don't need some, but more of the natural sodium, sodium aspect. So those are some of the main things, but there's also emotions involved with every season and it sounds so negative. There's a lot of positive things about winter, but the emotions tied up are fear, anxiety, and even groaning. And so how do we keep the, those in balance? Cheryl, I'm, can you give us some hints on that one? Oh, thank you, Judy. You know, I could listen to you for hours. I learned so <laughs> many wonderful things. Ah. Thank you so much. Um, well, these days, you know, everyone seems to be striving to get back in balance because of all the challenges. And, and what does that mean exactly? Um, well, we have a mind, we have a body, and we have a spirit. 
And our approach to wellness should bring more balance to all three. And so I'd like to share some of the ways that I practice to keep balance in my life. And I'll trust that these will be helpful for you as well. Exercising mindfully. And I think, Judy, you mentioned a little bit about calm. And over the winter, it's a good idea to find an exercise like I'm so sorry. I thought I turned that off. <laughs> anyway, um, it's so important to find something um, calming to do over the winter and, you know, get you back into your body and and being peaceful. And for me, I choose yoga. There's many other wonderful modalities, but um, I really love yoga. It's more of a spiritual practice. Uh, but it does help your body image too. Um, and it's a, you know, it's a great way to tone. Um, but combining ex your normal exercise with some yoga or other uh, calming practices is great, especially during the winter. And then eating a nutritious and balanced diet. When we eat processed foods or unhealthy foods, it's not only bad for our physical but it can disrupt our mental, emotional, and, and our overall spiritual wellness. And when I met Sunrider 35 years ago, I was introduced to the philosophy of regeneration, and it changed my world. Nourishing our bodies with the right combination of whole foods and herbs, and feeding the systems of our bodies with specific, expertly and uniquely concentrated balancing formulas and cleansing the body on the inside with specific formulas brings our body back to balance. And this just makes perfect sense to me. Sunrider products are all about balance. And I see that every day in my own life and in my family's life. Remember, your mind is also located in your body. And Having these nutritious formulas with maybe some nuts and fat, good fats and oily fish really will make your brain a lot happier. And number three, giving our brain some quiet time. Again, very, very important over the winter months. And meditation is a form of introspective practice and uh, along with some deep breathing. And it totally calms the body, mind and stimulates the vagus nerve which connects the brain to the organs of digestion, respiratory, and urinary systems. And a malfunction of the vagus nerve has been scientifically associated with many forms of mental and physical distress. Once again, back to what Judy was saying, all about um, our um, kidneys and bladder and urinary system. And then spending time in nature. Wow, this is one of my favorites because I'm an animal lover. I love the birds. I love my squirrels. I have my friend Normie, who's a stellar jay, comes every day and sits on the balcony and asks me for nuts. <laughs> he loves peanuts. Anyway, I find time in nature is good for my soul as well as my mind and my body. So um, I love walking barefoot on the grass. It's very grounding. I even do it in the winter time. It feels a bit wet and, and soggy, but I still feel like I'm grounding. And I often go out and hug a tree because I know from my research that trees give off a special energy that balances your brain. So a great way to soothe the body and balance physical therapy and mental stress relief is a lovely walk in nature. And I'm sure when you're back, you'll feel like Totally balanced. And then challenging yourself mentally. Our brain does need calm, but it also needs to be challenged because it recharges our brain. Um, adding uh, activities to your daily routine that could boost your brain health and make, make your life feel a little bit li uh, lively, like engaging an engaging book, maybe doing some kind of challenging crossword puzzle, board game, whatever you can find that gives you that inspiration and gets your brain going. And then considering what feeds your soul. And for me, this is a really big one. So participating in activities that make your soul feel fed 
can reduce negative feelings of hopelessness and depression. Try some new hobbies. If you're already if you already have a passion, dedicate some time to it throughout the week. You'll be amazed. A little creativity can go to helping you achieve a feeling of body balance. I love my songwriter business for this very reason. Songwriter feeds my soul. It is a way of giving back something wonderful to enhance others' lives. And it is so awesome to be in the right place, at the right time, for the right reasons, with like-minded, awesome friends like all of you. Yes, this is my 35th year in Sunrider this week, and I'm more excited now than I've ever been. Um, I just, I love my Sunrider foods, and I love my Sunrider business, and I love all of you. Anyway, thank you so much. And now I want to introduce you to one of my, no, actually two of my wonderful friends, uh, Finn and Tim. And they're going to share with you um, more about the water element and uh, some things you might want to avoid when it comes to the water element. Finn, Tim, welcome. Thanks, Cheryl. That was awesome. And I love the very practical tips that uh, you just shared and the understanding that it's never just one thing. Again, Tim and I are holistic health practitioners. We look at the whole um, part of our lives, not just the physical, but also the mental, the emotional and the spiritual. So um, to have balance in our life is to acknowledge and recognize all four parts. So, you know, I can be eating really clean and healthy, but if my mindset is not in a good place, I'm still not going to necessarily have great health. And likewise, I can be really a positive in, uh, person, but if I don't have the proper nutrition, again, I'm not going to get the most out of um, feeling balanced and happy and, and vital. And I always like the reminder that um, pain is a part of life. So feeling anxious and fearful and, and being depressed, we all go through those emotions. It's not something to avoid. Uh, it, it's something to recognize because it's part of life. So pain is part of life, but suffering is a choice. So, you know, you see this image on, on the screen here of this uh, individual in the water, and you might feel like you're drowning. You're not um, but the 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 choice is to reach out for help to to uh, look for solutions uh, rather than just getting overwhelmed by you know for example the water here and uh, Tim is uh, you know my brother from another mother and I just so appreciate how well he's able to help keep me grounded at times. And I know I do that for him. So Tim, tell me, share with, share with us, you know, some of your tips that you have or insights that you have. So well presented everyone. Uh, Cheryl, just everything was so flowing right into exactly what uh, Finn was, share was sharing right now. And tips, I'm really it's more just one tip and maybe facets of that tip. And first of all, it's like, uh, as Finn was saying, is that fear and anxiety are our friends and the water element, of course, and that goes with circular, our circulatory system. And part of, part of that is to remind us to keep flow going in our lives. And when we happen to have the sensation of fear and anxiety, which is home of the kidney, of course, kidney bladder, and it just being aware of it. So once we're aware of something, if we're aware of any, like, Finn said, but pain is like a it's like a messenger uh, that we just need to be aware of and listen to. So you know, in awareness of recognizing when you're feeling blue or feeling anxious or or fearful, and anxiety is just an extension of fear, really. If we're uh, apprehensive about anything, is to be able to take that apprehension away and to take that resistance away by just being aware of it. It's really no different than if you have cut yourself and you're aware of it you're going to get a band-aid out and you're going to put that band-aid on there or get some sutures or whatever you need but if you're not aware of your feelings then you just some of us tend to think of it as normal so it's it is normal but it's 
also normal to take action once we've gotten a message. If somebody's letting us know that something's up, then maybe we should pay a little attention to it. So it's like, I like to think of it as the universe or my friend. I like to think of the universe as my friend, and that's how I treat the universe. It's my friend. It's always telling me what I need to what I need to pay attention to, what and what actions I can take. And some actions I can take. Of course, I always in my movement series, I always like the, the idea of movement and Cheryl said it right there. Let's combine some movement in nature. Okay. We can do yoga or we can do just go for that walk and say hello to the birds. I tend to like to listen to those birds out there. They're they're always telling me to stay here and now and wake up. But once we're aware of something, then we can take some action. And I like to do, I mean, first of all, I like to bring myself to my breath center, what's going on inside. Uh, I'm feeling anxious, but I don't, but uh, there's a reason for it. And one of the things I like to do, just a little tip is, uh, I'm just going to mention this, I do a little whole pono pono. And uh, it's from Joe Vitale. And it's just uh, four little statements that I like to run through my mind. And uh, there's a lot, there's a lot of more depth that goes with this, but it's really, it's like a, it's like a, um, uh, and it's just a, a petition to the universe to just ask for forgiveness in in all my dealings with how from my ancestors and from just what I'm conscious of and particularly unconscious of for all the training that I that I received that I didn't ask for through life. And those little, this little state these little statements are very simple. I love you. Uh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And thank you. And you can say them in any order. And while I'm going for my walk, I like to run those through my mind. And as a result, it, I feel myself, it feels like a cleaning of uh, any thoughts that have been creating anxiety within me uh, or, or fear of what hasn't happened yet, especially if it hasn't happened. Well, then why should I be afraid of it? <laughs> but usually when, I, when, I'm doing, when we're doing things like this or thinking of something that you're extremely grateful for, keeping your attention on that, um, it tends to create a clearing. And when we create that clearing and, and substituting anxiety with ease, ease tends to bring answers and solutions, things that we can help ourselves and help others with uh, um, while we're going through going through a difficult situation or a challenge. But when, we over, when we're aware of it, then we can overcome that challenge. And it's challenges are good. Fear is good. It's my friend. When I treat fear like my friend, Things, uh, things tend to move forward. But there's also, I mean, Sunrider tends to have support for all these systems. Um, I mean, goodness, Cali, Fortune Delight. Uh, and one of my faves is vitamin D3. And for us who have very little light, thank goodness it's getting a little brighter by about four or five minutes every day. A little vitamin D3 goes a long way to help uh, to uh, help create that support that we're looking for. And Finn had a couple of things to say about D3 that I wanted to, uh, uh, I think she wanted to share with us. Thanks, Tim. Um, yeah, I love that you talked about what we focus on and having key things, whether it's gratitude. I love the Honopono. Um, I'm just going to say it again. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. And we can we can say that to others, but we can also say it to ourselves. And it's so um, it can help change how we're feeling exactly. um, because our emotional our emotional home is where we hang out all the time. So, you know, just changing our focus, changing our dialogue can help to gently change our emotional home, which is really important. And then, but sometimes nutritionally, we can, it, that can also affect our emotions. And, and D3 is, you know, that is what we get from sunshine. That's the only source that we can get is you know from sunshine and and sunrider has um again in dr chen's brilliance been able to formulate a d3 that is whole nutrition so you're absorbing it it's like you're taking uh liquid sunshine and to help with things like fatigue and depression insomnia um, hair loss these are all things that relate to that kidney bladder element the kidney bladder system and uh, here in Canada, January is um, mental health month and not surprising that, um, you know, after the holiday season, a lot of us have eaten too much sugar and we're all out of a balance and we're not getting enough sunshine, not enough light. And so, um, again, we can notice that just like the seasons, um, we need to support ourselves because of these different aspects of the season, the darkness and 
not having enough uh, sunlight on our skin. You know, we're all bundled up here so we don't get that sunshine absorbed into our skin. And I just absolutely love and so thankful that Dr. Chan made a, a vitamin D3 uh, for our immune system, for um, helping our emotional body and for our kidneys and, and bladder uh, system. And now we're gonna talk even more about some amazing nutrition and products that again can support our um, holistic living. And I believe Wendy, you're gonna, sh uh, is it Judy or is it Judy that's gonna share some products yeah. first? All right, Judy, take it away. <laughs> Dog sister, I stop. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, my goodness, uh, Cheryl, Ben and Tim, I got so much personal information that I needed right then and there. And so I sure hope everyone else benefited as much as I did. Thank you so much, really appreciate that. So what, what can we do to help balance our, our body during winter? You know, of course, the premier product most of us think of if we've been around Sunrider for very long is Livestream. And Livestream is directly the food that feeds both the circulatory system, the cardiovascular system, and it is one of the five main systems that we have in quinary. And I don't know, my, my packets of quinary ran out a little bit ago. I don't know if other people have them. Um, don't give me your address because you might see me at your door. <laughs> However, I was so thrilled to see when I went on the website that four of the five systems can be had in the bottle form. And Livestream is right there front and center. So Livestream is available to us. And the other bottles, what I do is I, you know, have to set aside a little bit extra time, but I'm getting a little more coordinated, open the capsules. And that's what I have been doing. And I am taking extra live stream. Live stream, uh, in my experience, when you need to add more of it, you really need to do add more of it. Um, I personally have been known to take an extra 10 a day for a week or two before I go, uh, for my driver's license to improve my eyesight <laughs> because many people have used it for different aspects of their eyes because guess what when we have good circulation uh, our blood makes it to the extremities and one of the biggest extremities is the head the brain all that's up there and our eyes and then our ears as well and who doesn't want to have warm feet and hands especially in the winter so it's a very important um, aspect of our health. And we want to, it doesn't mean we don't eat other things in the Sunrider foods. It means we just take extra if, if needed during this time. So we don't wanna ever forget that. And we would be remiss, of course, if we didn't mention Cali and Fortune Delight. Cali acts as an astringent, pulling toxins, soothing our body, Fortune Delight, uh, balances the electrolytes, allows the cell walls to take um, in uh, nutrition, to expel waste. It's a fabulous flusher of all the toxins that Cali pulls. So um, I know some who have received their Cali original already. Uh, beg, borrow, don't steal, but do whatever you can to keep this on your shelf because all of us know daily use and um, multiple times during the day for most of us. So Cali and Fortune for sure in the water element. Now I'm gonna to switch to golden, Chinese golden seal root and dandelion root. Chinese golden seal root is a master herb, which means it does many things in the body, not just one thing. So it affects the respiratory system, um, digestion. It actually helps heal the urinary tract. So it is fabulous, a wonderful healer. And the one element that we're, missing um, in the separate bottles is alpha 20 C and that's for the immune system. But we have, look at here, we have Chinese golden seal root. It helps keep us well, healthy fight, and fight infection. So we're not left without, we have something. And the nice thing is this is food grade so we can take it daily. So be sure you have some and are using it, it's fabulous. And then enter dandelion root. Oh, I was so thrilled when mine arrived <laughs> last week because I had been out. I love this. Um, very essential for me, uh, tend to be acidic. It helps so much with the acid alkaline balance in the body. 
It's a natural diuretic. Um, early days when I hadn't changed my diet too much, I knew that I, if I ate pizza or if I had anything, um, you know, extra salty, I better go home and take some dandelion root because or else my hands might be swollen in the morning. But dandelion, not to be used to get away with bad, but it can really uh, step in and be handy. And you notice both of those are roots and winter is the deep within. And that's where all the, those minerals come and what transports minerals, but water. So both of these two products are essential, um, especially in winter will you know, notice benefits, but really all year round. And then two fabulous things, I don't wanna go on too long, but uh, we ha I heard a marvelous uh, um, Zoom meeting by Adil and he talked about Korean white ginseng and Dong Kwai. And Korean is known as the man's uh, ginseng. However, we women, we need all the things that Korean white does for men as well. Like we need strengthening, we need stamina. And if we've been ill, it, it helps you recover, convalesce. Men may take more of it because, you know, all, because it makes them more manly, all the things we appreciate our male friends for, right? Um, However, women need it too as this underlying strengthening agent. It's fabulous. And I thought this was such a fascinating point that Adil made. He said when he was um, traveling in Korea, he was so excited to get at a special shop some uh, Korean, Korean ginseng because in this box, it cost $150. And that was years ago. So who knows what it would cost now. It cost $150. And he was so proud of it because there was a hole in the powder contained a whole root. You know, uh, again, Korean ginseng is a root and it had the whole root and that's unheard of, you know, like, you know, unfortunately at some places you might get bits and pieces, stems and leaves, different things, but this was a whole root and he was so thrilled. And so he, later he had access to Dr. Chen and he was talking to him and, you know, sharing his find with him and all. And Dr. Chen tells him, hmm, each capsule has a whole root in our Korean ginseng. So I think that I wanted to share that because it just brings home the point why our products are different, their concentration, and that's why we see results, the, the formulation and the concentration and the purity. And then Don Kwai, my goodness, who knew? Um, Don Kwai is the woman's ginseng. It's a blood purifier, helps anemia, helps migraines, helps anything of the female cycles, whether you're uh, beginning, middle, or ending those. So everyone needs help in the balancing of that. Dong Kwai is for smooth muscle tissue. That's why it has such an effect on the uterus, but we have a lot of other smooth muscles. Um, I believe it is, it, Dong Kwai, another name is Angelica Sinesis. And that is actually uh, in our joy. So men can take it as well. They don't need the volume that us women would need more of naturally, just maybe like compare it to Korean and Don Kwai, but it's safe for everyone or it wouldn't be in joy. And some of us have found, uh, since we can't grab those beauty pearls, um, I have my, I've been out for a while. Um, these both help do some of the things Beauty Pearl did. But let's face it, when Beauty Pearl comes back, it's easy because of the formulation. It's a specific for that. But I don't know about you, but I'm not going to give up my Korean white and my Dong Kwai because I've seen some added benefits. And another uh, thing Dong Kwai does, I just remembered, is B12. And so that's difficult for many of us. So fabulous products available now and it will make you have a better winter, there's no doubt. I won't spend much time on spirulina, but I included it because remember we said hair, and um, I believe Finn mentioned with D3, and another aspect of spirulina is it's, it's great for hair growth. Many people find different times of their life, high stress, uh, uh, bad illness, um, even change of hormones sometimes can cause us to lose hair. Spirulina has all the minerals and it is more, has a higher protein content than a, a, a steak. So it's a fabulous product, easy, uh, easy to take, helps, um, helps the thyroid, does everything. And I believe in uh, Protein Plus, 
we still have the caramel macchiato but I just found so much benefit with the easy digestible protein. It's so easy to grab some when you just need a little bit more. Um, and I'm not going to give that up either because I was kind of pinch hitting with my new plus. And of course, new plus is the highest nutrition available. So we have the main things that we can do now and we need to address whatever uh, resonates with us, whatever we, we need and to get us through till, uh, you know, spring's here. Everything's good in spring, right? So thank you very much. And uh, along with that, our skin, our skin is a very important manifestation of how we're uh, doing in winter. And Wendy, you have something to share with us, I believe on that. Yeah, thank you, Judy. That was so interesting. I learned a lot. So hmm, have you felt fear, anxiety, depression about how your skin's looking this winter? Cold air, dry indoor heat, low humidity, and harsh winter wind can zap your skin of moisture and its radiance. Anytime we wash, we strip the skin of its natural oils that lock in moisture, especially now. Have you tried dry brushing? It's really good for your lymphatic system and your skin, especially before you shower, helps to eliminate toxins. Did you know the UV light can still stress your skin, disturbing the moisture barrier, even now in winter? So then you may reason, okay, I'll moisturize and use a, sun a sunscreen. But there's something else to consider. That's how you're cleansing. Cleansing with clean products and effectively exfoliating are essential to healthy, glowing skin. Many times people say, I just want a moisturizer, not realizing that dead skin cells not sloughed off will form a keratinized dry barrier, a hard layer that you can't moisturize through. Especially as we get older, our skin needs to help. It needs help to exfoliate more often because it's not doing it itself. It's like shingles on a roof, not allowing the moisture of the rain to pass through. Also, pH balance is key to cleanse with quality products that won't disturb the acid mantle. And our, that's our natural protection against dryness. So buyer beware, don't think because you purchased your cleanser at the health food store, it's not too alkaline. Most of them are the wrong pH. So may I suggest K-Pure? It's available now, a gentle, effective, four-step regime, 100% 100, 100 vegan, pH-friendly, paraben free with no artificial fragrances. So you see the four bottles there. There's the cleansing oil that removes makeup and oil-based impurities and detoxifies. There's the um, foaming cleanser, which clears, purifies, refreshes, and prevents clogged pores and breakouts with antioxidants. There's the beauty water, a delicate blend of botanical extracts that resets your natural pH level after you've cleansed, it hydrates. You spray it on your face a couple of times a day for a refreshing look. Then there's the hydrating gel cream and it attracts and locks moisture, helping skin to retain water, to retain its moisture. It is water soluble with a small molecule of hyaluronic acid to penetrate deeper into the skin. So it really behooves us to buy the whole gift set they're pictured um, then you can replace one as it runs out. Also, I, I like to alternate the number two cleansing foam with the warm facial scrub you see there on the screen for deeper exfoliation. It's made with jojoba, an emollient that soothes while cleansing pores and follicles. And it's occlusive. That means closed, meaning it forms a, protection, a protective film locking in moisture. So moving on to sunscreens, the ingredients in your sunscreen are important that they be pure. And sun milk is an SPF 30, very lightweight, leaves no white residue. It's made with similar emollients like hyaluronic acid and squalene. And my husband Gary really likes that one. Where I prefer, just above the sun milk, you see the three bottles, I prefer the beautiful CC Corrective Cream SPF 30. It's tinted, fair, light, medium, or medium. It's made with avocado oil, squalene, vitamin E, 
and it gives a lightweight, breathable, beautiful coverage instead of using foundations that can cake up in the corners of your face. Um, so do your lips dry out? You'll love our new Lip Dew Balm. It's the best. It diminishes fine lines and wrinkles. It gives your lips a plumper, fuller look. And it's a great replacer for chapstick. You can use it under or over lipstick. Um, so please check out also on our website, there's these two special anti-aging treatments pictured. Um, oh, maybe they're not there anymore. <laughs> I thought they were going to be on there. But anyway, there's two special anti-aging treatments called um, that will help. Um, they're called Dr. Chen Youth Mask and Dr. Chen Youth Emulsion, and they're wonderful to use, especially at night. So I think you'll be very happy with all these products. My skin has improved from using them on a regular basis. And um, so now if we go to the next, um, to the foods, yes. So let's not forget what we eat definitely affects our overall health and skin. For the winter element, we're encouraged to eat for the season, shop the farmer's markets, prepare comfort foods. It's the time for soups and stews and chili, for eating beetroots and carrots and turnips, parsnips. Those are those long things that look like carrots, but they're white. And, um, and they grow below ground. Eating nuts, it's a good time for citrus like lemons, to ward off colds and flu. I like to steam cauliflower with turnips and mash like you with potatoes. And then there's winter squash with the thicker skins like acorns or butternut. They're wonderful and well worth the effort to cut into them carefully. So don't forget the variety of colors in foods. And have you tried purple potatoes? Our bodies love the variety. So let's remember to send in our soup recipes. And how is that going to work, Matt? Can you tell us about the soups? Yeah. Hey, thank you, Wendy. Um, what we want to do is encourage everybody to be posting along with us on our Five Elements Cycle to Wellness private group Facebook page. And one of the things that's fun, at least certainly for me in the wintertime, is looking at various soup recipes, trying different soups. So part of what we want to do in this program here is, again, encourage everybody to post your favorite winter soup recipe. And folks, it doesn't have to be just soups. I mean, we want you to be posting everything you possibly can in terms of recipes and sharing with the group. And one of the things I wanted to chat a little bit with is, uh, again, how this kind of winter wellness program is going to work for us during the season. Again, we're going to be posting daily into our five element cycle, the wellness page, um, sharing information about the foods we're consuming, both Sunrider and seasonal table. We want to encourage everyone to post along with us. Um, I personally love seeing all the posts, people sharing what they're doing, their exercise tips, their little videos, their comments, their recipes, etc. Um, in this soup contest, what we're going to do is we're going to look and over this period between now and I guess it's probably March 15th is the magic date here, we'll be looking and seeing how many people are posting recipes into the site. And again, it's not going to be um, judged based on, well, I like one recipe better than the other. An example would be if I post five different recipes during the period, my name will go in drawing five different times. Dolphin, if you post 10, your goes in 10 times. Tim, if you post 20 different times, you get 20 draws in there, okay? At the end of the cycle, we reach in, we grab one of our winners, and we may extend that to two or three. And what we had talked about providing everybody is a free bottle of life stream, but that'll be kind of at a minimum. We'll look at where we go with the gifts afterwards here, but I just want to encourage everybody, please post along with us. That's what makes this fun, sharing, interacting with each other, and participating as a community and talking about this topic. Um, for me, and then we'll bring the panel back in just to say, you know, hello or goodbye to everybody. I got to thank you guys so much. I learn every single time we do these calls. I mean, everything, I wrote down just a couple notes, the, um, the ringing in the ears, something I've been experiencing this season. I hadn't related it back to the season, the fact that I may need to do a little bit better cleansing or nourishment of my kidneys. Okay. Um, 
You know, for me, uh, Tim, you were talking about the various things we can do to expand our emotions and to be involved in everything. And I know for both of us, buddy, it's picking up a guitar and maybe learning a new song. Uh, for many of us, it's showing up at our martial arts class and being more involved in that aspect of what's going on, hiking out in nature. Um, Cheryl, feet on the ground, even in this time of year, you know, that kind of stuff. I think you were saying great stuff. Um, can't remember which one of us was talking about listening to the clues. It had to be you, you, Finn or Tim. And I'm reminded about my wife and something she always reminds me about paying attention to the whispers. Okay. If you don't listen to the whispers, the next thing that happens is that two by four across the forehead. <laughs> so pay attention to the whispers is where that one's going. And what you guys were talking about, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you resonated so much with me. I have another one that's kind of just called my possibility statement that I use all the time, but it ties back into freedom, joy, and ease, which are things we all talked about. And again, you guys, I just can't thank you enough for the way that you all shared. And and gosh, my, my sincere thanks to everybody on this call for sharing the way that you did. Back to the panel, any last comments as we close our, co our call down today? I'd like to thank you, Mac. You do such a great job and such great support for all of us. It's another wonderful aspect of our Sunrider business and all of you. It was wonderful. I learned so much. Absolutely. Yep. This is very much a team and I, I'm so thankful to be part of this with all of you guys too. Anything else from the panel before we say goodbye? I agree. I'm just, I always love getting together with you guys. I learned so much and it's so wonderful that we can share this with with other people through these videos and uh, whatever you choose. If you, if, if something really resonates with you today, I would just rem remind you consistency. So you're better off doing something every day, a little bit every day to really see results, whether it's like you say, picking up your guitar or being more mindful of your breathing or taking some extra life stream, mm -hmm. just that consistency. Absolutely. Cool. Going once, going twice. Always, <laughs> hey, I'm going to go for it. But always learning so much. Everyone does such <laughs> an incredible presentation. Um, and it's so fun to be with uh, our sisters and brother <laughs> and our, all of our extended sisters and brothers out there. And it, it's, again, it's such a learning experience. I, I mean, I, I recognize a lot myself, but there's always something more to learn and, and to continue to create this momentum through this time and to have, and part of it is always having a support crew. And it's, that's why we're here is to be able to reach out and hug one another, so to speak, and learn and grow with each other. And you guys just uh, top drawer, every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Well, look, you guys, just to kind of close this thing out, for any new people watching this, we hope you learned something about uh, winter and the water element. And if you're interested in Sunrider and you want to take that next step of potentially joining us, please reach out to the person that shared this video with you. Talk to the person that introduced you to Sunrider. Would love to have you part of this team. And for anybody that wants to join us on our Five Element Cycle to Wellness private group, Facebook page. Please, again, get in touch with the person that shared this with you. We'll get you an invitation. The more, the merrier. Come join us and we'll share throughout this next season here, okay? Thanks, everybody. Love y'all. Love you too. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye now.